go. What a matchup to start our day. The Michigan State Spartans and the Big Ten champions in the regular season, the Purdue Boilermakers. You got to see it to believe it. And you got to speak it into existence. And the way that they played throughout the season, they suddenly put themselves in that position. Smith turning the corner, accelerating to the rim. Edie there to clean it up. Wow, looks like Paul and Cooper got their feet tangled up. Both ended up on the floor, and Edie's at the rim. Walker, quick three in the corner, and the Spartans, as they are wont to do. Under 10 on the shot clock. Lawyer pulls up with Edie in front, and he hits the two. Here's Edie. Working against Carson Cooper. Such a tough cover one on one. I tell you, man, he, he has got sometimes he'll, he'll give up a bucket because he knows his presence is so much more important. All oh, using that rim to get a little protection from Edie. Uh, uh, he's just been phenomenal. And I think he's so good, Kevin, that sometimes we take it for granted. Oh, I don't think there's any question. Tyson Walker. Smith. Dropping it off to Edie. Walker swarming inside. They're going to count that bucket and Tyson Walker with the foul. Throwing out early comparisons to Jaron Jackson when he got here. That's hard to live up to. Great point. Oh, what a shot from Lance Jones from deep. Team shooting yesterday. 0 for 8 so far today. You see Hogarth back in the game. That's a beautiful feed. And a finish by Hall that he draws the contact and a chance for the a 2 foul. Holloman on the push. Here's Walker in transition. The three falls. That's how they started the game. And they're back within two into the hands of Walker. Quickly ahead to Holloman. Back it goes to Walker. Toe in the line for a three. Tipped up and in. Trey Holloman, here comes that backcourt. Mason Gillis, oh, a bullet inside to Braden Smith. What a catch and finish. See, you don't typically see Hogard driving inside. Edie says, I don't think so. Hall drives with a left hand. Kelly, and the foul. Here comes Willie Hall. And so he wants to see a similar effort. Well, you're seeing some effort right now. A couple of tips away. Jones on the drive. Right at the bucket and the foul. And Edie finds him. Triple team. Colvin with the shot fake. And the two fall like this with you don't have a lot of margin for error. You gotta take advantage of it. Nice fight. Colvin with the hand. Saw Edie and said, not that aggressive. <laughs> Smart man. Cooper with the catch and the finish. Colvin a little late to get there and Cooper shoulder fake. A minute to go, first half. Edie, one on one against Cooper, and that's too easy for Edie. And you know what? Cooper did exactly what he had to do. Two of three from three. And just one of seven from two. Edie, much better percentage from two. He did a great job of taking Cooper down. Third either, just still aggressive. Jones turning the corner against Hogarth. What ball movement to find Braden Smith for three. This is what Purdue does to start the second half. A lot they missed two out of three. He was mad at the shots that they didn't take. Said several of his players have to be more aggressive, especially Jaden Akins and Hayes. He needs that confidence from his coach. Craig Kaufman Red trying to dislodge Malik Hall and Edie there to clean up the scene on that offense. Oh, Hall with the swap. Batted out to Walker. Jumped it over for the two to Jaden Akins. Yeah, He's got there today. He's got 19 points and nine rebounds. He has 21 points and nine rebounds. Oh, that floor spacing right there. Good post defense there by Kohler. Quick attack to the other end, and there's Aikens for two. Three is short. Smith with the offensive rebound. Here's Gillis for three. It's one of the aspects that makes Purdue so difficult. Shooting three. You want to know why Purdue has a better chance to win it all this year? That's why. Snap of the twine is Trey Holloman. To the answer. Point, Kevin. Around the Sissoko screen. Driving inside. Count it. And the foul. Well, that's a tough move. Serenity now. Serenity now. Smith driving inside. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And Smith. Uh oh. That's not good. Bird is hobbled off, favoring that right leg. I don't know if it was his knee or if it was his oh, ankle. Where he's we are after this injury. Well, if you look at the knee, there's a, a slight buckle. And my hope, Kevin, is that it's hyperextension, which generally 
you can come back from a lot quicker. So, Braden Smith, this is a little more encouraging, watching him walk behind the stage and by Smith. Hogarth lobbing to Sissoko behind Edie for the two-hand flush. Nice job getting Sissoko in both. He was actually walking on his own power, unaided. The bad news, he was unable to walk well enough to be allowed back into the basketball game. They did a bench. Entry to Edie. Back it goes. Gillis in the corner for three. And there is the weapon that Purdue has. I mean, he's still got a little hitch in his giddy up here as he's walking, but... Well, clearly there's nothing structural wrong. They were sent from the floor of Purdue at 40%. Edie able to get that one to die and fall. Edie had remained in the game. Here's Hogarth. In the corner, the three, up and down. What a shot for Tyson Walker. Breaks a drought of nearly four. For the work, inside Walker. Got the roll. Wow. In help position. Drops it to Cooper with the stop. Really good news. One has to be involved in the game. A game that is now tied at 56. Snatch this one away from Purdue. Lawyer. Just a minute ago laying on top of us. Now laying down a three. And giving the quiet signal to the fans. Gillis. Inside Edie. Turns to the rim for two on a five point 26.4 and counting Hogard hands off to Hall Malik Hall gets inside for the two hand flush and Tom Izzo will use his final timeout four point game again time winding down Hogard no timeouts for Michigan State here's Walker contested three caught underneath by Hall who goes down he's holding his left ankle and a foul is called on Hogard 67-62, Hogard with two seconds, Hogard with one second. The layup will it count, it will. But Purdue has enough to survive. 67-64, the number one seed, the defending tournament champs advance. Wisconsin and Northwestern coming up next. They'll play Purdue, the winner of that game on Saturday. Ohio State, Illinois, Indiana, Nebraska coming up later on.